What's up guys, welcome back to our gaming on After the Storm. As you guys can see, we're doing something a little different today. This is Def Jam Fight for New York, probably my all-time favorite game that, like, from the original Xbox, like, that era of consoles. This is, uh, one of those, like, weird fighting games, but honestly, like, it's crazy fun. Um, it's probably the funnest game I've ever played in my life. Um, and I wanted to do a YouTube series on it. I actually did a first episode of it back like forever ago, but I was using the PCSX2 simulator, uh, or emulator I should say, for like a PlayStation and it, the quality just wasn't great. So I never continued it, but now I'm using Dolphin and I've got it. Uh, so I'm gonna use this going forward. My hope is that a lot of it comes through. Um, I'm gonna turn up the, uh, not when I'm talking here, in the main menus areas because uh, I don't want the music to overlap, but it should be fine when I'm talking, just to avoid copyright strikes and all that. But basically, uh, yeah, we're gonna go through the story mode of this game because it's like literally the best of all time. But let's take a trip together down Nostalgia Avenue and replay this game from 2004 that I would, for my money, say still rips to this day. I'll pretty much let every cutscene play on through here. Um, and then I'll just kind of explain what's happening afterwards if you guys are unaware or whatever. But yeah, let's uh, let's let this start. came out of nowhere. I barely got a look at the guy. Just try your best to remember. Take a look at the mug shots. All right, so basically what's happening Anyone here, guys, about? is that first scene you see D-Mob, uh, who's the leader of kind of like a group of guys. He's been getting, he gets arrested there, and basically what's happening is your character is the one who hits the cop car uh, and breaks him free. So what I love about this is that it's like kind of a natural way to get your character created in the game is basically you're just having the uh the officer that was involved in the hit and run uh describe you in some sort of way uh to get a you know a read on your character so here i've created the character i'm just using ats of course for the channel name yeah so basically this is how we're going to create the guy and then uh you'll see we'll get into some voices here Wait, did we not get into voices? Apparently we didn't get into voices Take that time. That. Uh, game over! That's why I'm the champ, bitch! Oh, snap, D-Mob! Yo, we thought you thought was- Thought I was what? Arrested? Who this? This is the guy who was helping me get home while you two clowns were sitting around playing video games. Hey, at least we're still around. Who knows what people are thinking after that shit you pulled, man? Okay, look, look. We got to count up our soldiers and put them on the streets now. So, is this guy in or out? He's in. Remember, man, we don't know shit about this guy. No offense. Yeah, look like a straight. How we know he cool? Because I say so. Well, if he stays, he's got to be able to carry his own weight. Can you fight? I can take care of myself. We gonna see about that. Guess we went with the stock voice. Like, actually, um... You know, pick a voice, but anyway, you skipped over that part. It's all good. Uh, basically, here we're choosing a fighting style. I don't even know what to pick. It will go martial arts just for some fun. All right, so here we're doing, uh, you know, a, a, a tutorial here. I probably won't show much of this. 
I'll show you guys the end pretty much. I'll show you Blazin. Alright, so here's Blazin. And Blazin is probably like one of the coolest aspects of this game. But separated is so much. So you basically get like a finishing move. So cool. Not bad. Looks like you've seen a few scraps in your time. Whatever, whatever, man. Spawn ain't shit. Ten to one is biscuit knocked out in a real fight. There's only one way to find out. Go buy yourself some new gear. If you're gonna run with this crew, you better look the part. Think you can handle that? Never and heard that background noise before. You, so you can't go back to your path. It ain't much, but it's yours for as long as you need it. Hmm. It's got potential. So where we are now is we are in that apartment that uh, Red Man was showing us. Is that Red Man? Red Man? I don't even know what his name is in the game. Cannot remember. Anyways, figure that out later. Blaze, maybe? Blaze? But what we have now is a voicemail system, of course, with a T-Mobile sidekick. So basically with the email system or the message sender system, you have like a text. You get text and voice messages uh, left on your phone. Of course, this looks like some antiquated hardware. Uh, but this was like at the time was pretty crazy. I mean just having a T-Mobile sponsorship in a video game in 2004 was pretty crazy But basically here in the crib uh, You have your map your messages wardrobe options trophies and of course exit. So what we're, what we're gonna do is uh, We're gonna go first you have like a shopping district so you can go buy clothes you can go train you can get a new haircut uh, You can go get tattoos and of course get jewelry is probably the funnest part of the game uh so right now we're gonna go to the uh we're gonna go train hey, with henry cool. rollins and uh see if we we only have like 100 dev points so what we'll do is we'll just put them all on toughness right now which will help us Good. stay in fights longer and we have our first you know club that we're gonna go to and start our fighting so every one of these clubs kind of operates the same they don't always have three opponents and a boss Sometimes they only have one, or strictly it's a boss, or whatever the case may be. Uh, but this one, the foundation, you have Trick, Bo, I think it's I think it's Bo, uh, and then Nine as the or Bo, I guess, not Bo, but yeah. So we have that, and then we have a uh, boss fighter to once we beat all three of these guys, we unlock that. So what we'll go in and do for the first episode is we'll probably get up into the boss fight for the foundation um maybe i'll do it i'm not sure yet do exactly but uh yeah depends on how long it takes i love that the loading screen is like a poster that would be put up at this place basically like fight club that's kind of what this is like next up we got some fresh meat for all you animals out there <laughs> any last words punk i'm gonna break you in two homeboy so what the cool thing was really is that using the environment is like huge in this game. I love it. Let's mess him up. We already have a blazing move. <laughs> kind of crazy. So this one's gonna be over very quickly. That'll be it. So, basically, with the KO system, anytime they're in the danger range, you can use your blazing move, you can use an environment or a weapon, and it'll end the fight. And then after every fight, you get, uh, you know, total points earned, uh, and then you get a money system and dev points. And basically, every fighter you take out in the game, you get their blazing move, which is awesome. I don't know what kind of talent d think he sees in you, but you better step up. No time for losers in this crew. Bro, imagine just getting told that by Ludacris. So, as you progress along, you'll unlock more places. So, like, we, for instance, we've already unlocked the Limit uh, Club to face off against two more fighters and a boss. But, of course, we're going to go one kind of one by one here uh, and take out uh, it just kind of sequentially. You know, I never really thought about this. Like, his name must be Bo, right? I've been calling him B.O. for, like, my entire life. You can't stack up to me. Come on, bitch! Step to me! I dare you! Nobody messes with me! That's it! Now you... Night, chump! Alright, so here we go. Oh 
<laughs> oh! Karana. Another aspect I love is that you can use the crowd. Oh my god, this is actually a close fight. There we go. There we go. Throw the baseball bat over his head. Let's go. You in some serious trouble now. Yo, let's do this. Well, we're in danger. One step ahead. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes you lose. And you got a rematch, but yes. Alright, second blaze and let's get him out. <clears throat> oh no. Oh. Oh my goodness, he reverses everything. There we go. This should be it. I took three tracks. There we go. Nine is like the perfect defensive fighter. Alright, so... Given that we've kind of gone through it quick, uh, we're going to go fight Omar Epps, who's the boss of the Foundation, and then we'll close out the Foundation and close out the first episode. Hope you like the taste of my knuckles, chump. You can't stop me, son. I'm going to dance around you all night long. Get ready out there. It's always fun to fight the guy from house. the foundation finished all right guys so that's gonna i just turned out the music that's gonna do it for the first episode of death jam uh that was a lot of fun but we're only at the beginning there's lots and lots and lots and lots to play and the story's not even close to being done so so thank you guys so much for watching the video here make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and as always i will catch you guys on the next episode of death jam